Hi there, Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is your February 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, before anything else, let's just um, I want to let you guys know that this is still just a general reading, so it may or may not necessarily tuning in to each and every Scorpios out there. And um, if you'd like a more personal reading, you may do so by booking a session with me from my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. Now, okay, without any further ado, let's get on with the reading. I have already pre shuffled the cards just recently, and I haven't really um, take a good look to the cards actually, but. It is showing me here that, you know, you are feeling a lot of emotions at this time. It does show me that there is some form of happiness in the past. Maybe you had a break or maybe you had some fun times with your family or, you know, I kind of feel that maybe you were not so focused in love for the most part for some of you maybe you have issues in terms of your relationship but you're trying to escape that it gives me a feeling that you're trying to not focus on your love life it gives me a feeling wherein you want to have fun with your friends have fun with your family or maybe you know just daydream about your life and you're basically not focusing or you're not facing the person head on let's say like that it gives me a feeling we're in that you have issues in terms of your love life but you're not really <laughs> focusing on that you're not trying to resolve it you're not trying to face the person maybe you're just escaping reality those kinds of things and this could be the month we're in you know everything just goes back to you all the memories all the feelings all the emotions and the reality that you did not really move on with your situation you have just escaped things and you did not solve anything at the end so you might be you know you might be wondering why you're trying to move on but you cannot move on or you might be at the point wherein you are wondering you're trying to shift away things you're trying to forget things but you cannot there's just something that always returns you to something So, yeah, this is like a situation where you might be in a relationship or in a situation with someone that has made such an emotional impact in your life. And there could be conclusions in terms of this relationship. There is a form of negativity and pessimism in the air, though maybe you are missing this person greatly and i kind of feel that for most of you guys there is a chance that you are still longing this person in the past and maybe you are going to try to contact them or if not that 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 person is going to contact you again my readings goes vice versa so it can be something that you are going to initiate or maybe this is a person who is going to initiate the contact on you. So um, yeah, all I can say here is that you have a lot of pent up energy, pent up feelings that you are hiding in yourself. But February marks a time wherein you have to face reality. And you have to face your own heart as well, especially if you are one of the few Scorpios who 
who feels very conflicted when it comes to their heart matters because they don't want to accept the reality that they are still in love with someone despite the fact that they are trying to move away from that person or something like that so here we are seeing that there's an element of you're driving for things to move forward but uh i don't know there is that form of energy that feeling that you are feeling at this time is going to have some form of conclusion definitely you may experience a lot of emo emotional turmoil though as a result because um i don't know i just kind of feel that in the past whatever it is that you have ignored or um disregard in the past i kind of feel that you know you will be experiencing it all on february so whatever is hidden inside of you I kind of feel that you know there is a form of explosion that you are going to feel inside of you it's like everything is releasing out in the open so this can be a, a form of intensity that you are feeling inside of you some of you might be wanting to explore what that feeling is all about some of you like maybe if there is a woman that you cannot forget or a man that you cannot forget because for this reading i am picking up a male energy maybe they are you know trying to restrain themselves to doing something to initiating something but it is coming to a point where and they are feeling things very passionately for someone maybe it is someone that they are very much spiritually aligned with it could be a soulmate or a twin flame because of this very passionate energy we have the moon here and the devil card we even have a death card here we have a lot of past trauma past energy you know and you cannot say that i am inventing this because you can see the cards if you are aware of tarot you will know that we have the five of cups over there the moon the devil card the, the seven of pentacles all of this are past energies all of this triggers emotions and we have the five of cups in the future position which is very contradictory because it is the future but it gives us the energy of the past so you will be entering a time of melancholy wherein you are going to think about the past and i know that many people out there especially in youtube land will always hate it when i say the past is here the past is here but this is what i'm seeing and what i'm picking up so what i'm getting here is that there is going to be someone in particular who's going to be um, having a lot of heart heartfelt situations it makes me feel that this is this could be someone who is a male Scorpio that you are in a relationship with or you used to be in a relationship in who has taken you for granted and maybe right now you know they are looking into their emotions the second time or the third time or many times because it gives me an impression that you had a lot of lifetimes with this person yes there is a form of energy that can bring you down but we do have here the page of wands and the ace of cups 
as the overall outcome of the reading, which gives a tone of, you know, a lot of possibilities for the future. Especially since the Page of Wands is the card of the messenger and the Ace of Cups is all about love, right? So message of love can really come through. But whoever it is that I'm picking up for this reading, who, whatever type of Scorpio that I'm picking up, whether it's a male or a female, um, it can go both ways. You are feeling so much, but you are not expressing it. Maybe you still have feelings for someone, but you're hiding it. You're not doing anything about it. You're not trying to contact anyone. You're just aware of what you feel. I just can feel that, you know, that person has it a lot worse because they are feeling it much, much more than you do. So, I do see here that there is a possibility to maybe talk with this person. I'm not sure at this time because it is a general reading. And there is just so much I can only say. But with the moon here and the Queen of Cups, there is a possibility that the two of you acknowledge each other. It could be in a psychic manner though, in a telepathic manner. Maybe you are going to be dreaming about this person and they are going to be dreaming about you and that can trigger the two of you to connect with each other. It gives me a tone here and a feeling that someone feels trapped because of you. And again, that can happen vice versa. You might be, feel trapped because of someone else. There are fears here. It's showing us that you want for things to be in harmony. You want for things to be romantic and be happily ever after again. Not in a very fantasy-like manner. But you want things to be in harmony. You want things to get better. But... The process of getting there is making things difficult for someone, I feel. So there could be an element of waiting, waiting, waiting process. It just gives me a feeling we're in. It's either things are on waiting zone or you might actually expect something to happen because when the moon shows up sometimes something unexplainable happens like a sudden contact happens you know it's the moon and it could be the full moon or something, you know, maybe you can get the contact with that person or you might meet someone. It doesn't have to be someone in the past. It could be someone new that maybe has a soul connection with you. So, yeah. This could lead to, you know, something. So... Your saving grace is the Page of Wands and the Ace of Cups. It's telling us that you might engage with this person. There could be some talking, communication, or meeting with this person. I don't know where that will lead though, but it's telling us that you are acknowledging each other. Someone is remembering you. Someone wants to connect you, to connect with you. Maybe someone wants to make peace with you. All I know is that someone is thinking about you and their heart is aching. And right now, they're just following what's in their heart. And 
it's very funny that we also have here Leo, <laughs> Pluto, and the fifth house. And if I am correct, we will experience a full moon in the sign of Leo on February, somewhere within February. I have not really checked the charts yet, but if you are following me on Instagram, where I always put a daily post on detailed astrology horoscopes wherein i post the luminaries and all that in a very detailed manner um you can maybe read that on my instagram if you are uh, an instagram follower of mine if not please do so <laughs> i do have a uh, quite a few following and people have been messaging me how detailed the readings are so you might as well join in so um yeah it could be with a full moon in leo you know something can make you happy because this is the fifth house it is something that should lift you up the fifth house is also child childhood sweethearts love affair something that gives you joy and laughter at the end maybe something in the past can lead to some form of happiness as well so yeah I'm getting here that you have a lot of pessimistic energy in the past though but there is a potential for things to get resolved because someone is going to make an effort. It's either someone or you are going to make an effort. There is a chance for some form of harmony here. And I kind of feel that even though that the situation can be complicated right now, you're not thinking about the complications because right now you are feeling so much to the point wherein all that matters to you is what is it that you are feeling do you love this person do you not even though that maybe i love this person but dot 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 right now you're just focusing i still love this person no matter dot 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 so there is that form of energy Remember, we have this, um, the energy of the devil and the moon together. This is very intense. It can be overwhelming <laughs> and tempting at the same time. So if you are still longing for someone, but you're trying to stop yourself, resist the temptation or resist yourself to be with that person despite the fact that you still love them you still and maybe you're still lustful of them or you still you know longing for them craving for them wanting them in your life i kind of feel that it will come to a point wherein you will not be able to resist things anymore and you are going to be doing something about it or you know something is going to happen that leads to something inevitable to occur in terms of your love life and relationships and that can lead to a really wonderful blessing in disguise as well so all i know here is that someone feels trapped but after that that energy there is going to be a chance for talking to communicating and for things to progress so some form of completion can really occur and you know this can lead to feeling in love again feeling love again there is something that you are going to be happy about Scorpios and it will make you feel fulfilled so um yeah i don't know about you but i kind of feel emotional about this maybe because i was so tuning in with scorpions but um yeah 
I am tuning in with Scorpios and I kind of feel it's very emotional like something in my heart is suddenly beating out of nowhere and I, I'm not sick or anything like that so um yeah I just kind of feel that this is a very powerful reading and February could be a very powerful month especially in terms of your love life so emotional and heart communication and talks is going to be in focus if not that then your soul connection with someone maybe you know maybe you are already with someone else or he or she is already with someone else but your soul and his soul maybe is um, you know i don't know it's like strings are pulling and some form of energy is pulling you to each other once again and you know i may not be able to explain it clearly on this video in this reading but if this is you i'm sure you will know you will know you will know that you are being called by this person you have some form of I really don't know how to say it. <laughs> there is some form of connection so strong that is unbreakable. No matter what has happened between the two of you. A reconciliation can happen. It may happen within the month or this person might start thinking about wanting to reconcile within the month vice versa because of all the memories the history that the two of you have i kind of feel that those kinds of things are in are in place right now your hearts are talking your soul is talking and calling you guys so it may be a waiting time it may not necessarily be waiting at the same time it can vary but do know that there is going to be a shift that is definitely going to occur in terms of your love life and relationships and you will know that things are shifting like a tweak in your heart is being made and it will lead you to a brand new beginning <laughs> so um yeah this is my reading for you guys scorpio and if you'd like a more personal reading specifically for your own situation then you can do that by booking a session with me from my website in the stars by chrissy.com and um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me like always and i do am thankful for my for the people that have been booking sessions with me i really appreciate that i appreciate all the scorpions that have been going through my email readings um yeah it has made my life a lot busier especially recently but yeah i'm thank you for everyone um so also if you have not yet followed me on instagram please do follow me on instagram instagram.com slash readings by Chrissy you'll find that out more about the daily and major happenings astrology wise and intuitively wise <laughs> so um yeah without any further ado I'll see you again next time bye